Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be reviewing this brushless PTZ gimbal. Basically just a really economical way to get in, get started in with, uh, with gimbals in general. And it's probably the cheapest way with the highest performance possible. Uh, this is a review model from Gearbest. And uh, I'll have the links in the description of how to get one of these if you're interested. But basically this is just going to be a quick review of this guy. Uh, I did have this mounted on my Chirshin CX-20 for testing and I did crash it from 500 feet and it looks to me like the only damage was that this aluminum arm did bend a bit here. So I'm fairly impressed that that's the only thing that happened. I'm going to try to go ahead and repair this. But up until then it was performing very well. After we talk about this for a little bit, I'll go ahead and put a video up that you can look at to see if you like how it performs. The cool thing is the motors are strong. Uh, it does have good rubber gimbal vibration supports. If you do start experiencing some jello effect in your, in your video, I go ahead and the, what works for me is just putting in these earplug memory foam things into the gimbal. Uh, vibration dampers themselves just push roll them up with your fingers push them in and let them expand and they seem to take care of the jello perfectly this is aluminum all aluminum construction and they do supply this blue strap here this actually comes with it as well and they give you this bag of bolts and standoffs for mounting it on your your copter setup was a little difficult out of the box it was not tuned right for this camera, this is an MCOV camera I was also reviewing and the software I guess maybe for the balance since this isn't a GoPro maybe this is set up specifically just for a GoPro it wasn't really working with this camera so I actually had to, they give you a little port here you connect with your USB cable and you'll plug that into your computer you download the BGC software so you can actually go into the gimbal and start adjusting the, the power and stuff. So I had to turn the power up on the motors in order for it to, to work with this, with this uh, camera mounted here. But basically really simple. It's just your, your basic gimbal. It's got two plugs that come in the back. Uh, one for each motor for your pitch and roll motors. And it works really well for how cheap it is 50 bucks uh, if you're kinda just getting into quadcopters maybe larger GPS enabled quads uh, or hex copters whatever it may be and you want to get something cheap this is actually a really good option works good and the other thing I had to do was put on this JST connector it comes with the mail side plug and I had to switch this out for it to plug into the bottom of the Cheerson quad. All right, so let's go ahead and cut to some flight video. Oh, my God. 
Hey guys, welcome back. So you're able to see the thing up in the air and performing. It was, as you can see in the video, it was very windy. And it was probably between 20 to 40 miles per hour winds, probably gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour in that video. And that's actually why it crashed. So it performed very well considering how windy it was. So I would actually recommend this for a cheap economical gimbal for somebody who's starting off a cheap minimal configuration out of the box but you you will have to configure it probably to work with your camera all right so that is the ptz brushless gimbal from gearbest.com links in the description and please like subscribe and comment guys and i'll try to ask your answer your questions as soon as possible thanks for watching